Good afternoon, everyone. On my left is uh, Fabian. Fabian is from uh, Ubik. He's their CTO. Rod is from Electricity Canada and still brought a couple things. What applications would you see going on in license and what would you see going on in private LTE? A lot of the challenges with this when you talk about, you know, which frequency you're going to use, I don't think there is a perfect frequency. If utilities don't have um, the volume, who else will Industry Canada allow to use more than point eight? So we can build uh, the customer base that incentivizes the manufacturers to come in and make this equipment. But many utilities in Canada are government owned. Affordability, electrification, all those things require connectivity. That puts a very direct mandate for us. And then on the communication side, all of the optimization, automation and optimization, robust, reliable connectivity is what enables many, many, almost all of those applications. Not only are we trying to find a manufacturer that is flexible to work with us, so we're trying to build the ecosystem to sell to a manufacturer we're doing everything simultaneously. The market doesn't exist right now. The reality is, if we can't find manufacturers to step up and start making this equipment, we're going to lose it. So, you think, uh, I guess, Tadek has an uh, AMI made with deployed AMI solutions. We actually used uh, different communication technologies for that. When you use technologies like NTM or NPIOT to connect those sensors, it doesn't necessarily require even hardware change to existing products to support that bank. So it's actually not huge investments to make products supporting that bank. So there's a common sense that when you go uh, and license, then you use some RF mesh proprietary technologies. And when you go for private IT, you have to have license ban. We want to say, at least those are separate questions. Whether you want to use LT or some proprietary technologies, and whether you want to operate in a license ban or license ban, should actually be separate question based on the criticality of the use case and the affordability. What we brought to the market, so what we call Freeride, which is a LT base station, operating in the license ban. So you can run private LT networks in that license ban. Obviously, I'm license band could be suffering from interference or noise for other users, but it is actually a lot more affordable and you have 26 megahertz of it available. We want to provide solutions that can allow utilities to build the best network in the most effective way. The difference with Ubicasting is that we actually come from the utility space and we know the needs and the use cases, so we are actually pushing private LT products that are really designed for utilities.